Now in this month of Ramadan, further on he says, whoever lessens the burdens of his servant. What does it mean? The employer reduces his workload on his employee. A master, he reduces his work in the month of Ramadan for his servants. And when we are in pandemic, we should not expect a lot. Because, you know, when we'll be sitting in the house, desire for that, desire for custard, desire for finney, desire for that. Do not make too much burden on your wife. Best opportunity to become a cook in this lockdown. MashaAllah, yesterday I made karai ghost. We tried, alhamdulillah. Made it nicely, alhamdulillah. Because if your wife says it's nice, then it's nice. So it's something to learn. Unfortunately, if something happens tomorrow, you have no children to look after you, your wife becomes ill. So lessen the burden. Do not push too much burden in the month of Ramadan on your employees, on your servants, on your family. The Prophet ﷺ says, whoever lessens the burden on his servants in this month, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive him and free him from the fire of hell. Imagine what a great reward if we lessen the burden. And then he says that there are four things which you have to do in the month of Ramadan. Number one, read the kalima tayyibah. Lot of zikr. Kalima tayyibah. La ilaha illallah. Muhammadur Rasulullah. The ulama says hundred times in the morning, hundred times in the evening. But now we have the time at home. We don't have to go to work. Hundred times after every salah. Then do istighfar in the month of Ramadan. A lot of istighfar, which you have to do. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah alladhi la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyul qayyum wa atubu ilayh. Astaghfirullah min kulli zambin wa atubu ilayh. A lot of istighfar. Astaghfirullah rabbi min kulli zambin. Aznabtuhu amadan au khata'an sirran au alaniyatan. Wa atubu ilayhi min al-dhambi alladhi a'lam. Wa min al-dhambi alladhi la a'lam. Innaka anta allamu al-ghuyub. Wa sattaru al-ghuyub. Wa gaffaru al-zunub. La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. So these are the two things we have to do. And there are two other things which the Prophet says that you can't escape, you have to do it. And what is that? Allahumma inni as'aluka al-jannah. Ask for jannah. Because we can't be successful without asking for it. Wa na'uzu bika min adab in nar and wallah seek refuge from the fire of hell. So jannat mango, jannam se panah mango. Khub istighfar karo, khub kalma karo. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the end, he says that whoever, he brings that topic about feeding again. Yeah. I was thinking on this hadith, he mentioned in the middle, why, why he's bringing it at the back as well. The last thing he's mentioning. That shows the importance of food, giving food to people. Whoever satiated a person with food, the person was hungry and he fed that person. Allah will give him water from the house, house Kawsar, whereafter he will never again feel thirsty until he, until he enters the paradise. The day of judgment will be a severe day. Sun will be above the heads. Person will be thirsty. They will be sweating, uh, flo floating in their own sweat. On that day, the Prophet is saying, whoever feeds someone. He will be freed and he will enter Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallahumma bihamdik wa nashadu an la ilaha illa anta wa nashadu